for 900, in your professional opinion, do you think that's the best uh, I can do for my money? I mean... Whenever there's something popular that people really want to get into, there are always those scumbags that have to ruin it by taking advantage of people who don't know better. One of those things is esports and computer gaming in general. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to .com. This is a company that have been promoting themselves in the local trading and selling services in an attempt to sell their custom gaming computers. They've had a few of their ads taken down because you can't use Craigslist, OfferUp, and LetGo to advertise unless you are explicitly listing a product for sale. But I actually saw one of their ads the other day finally listing a product and let me tell you now, if you weren't angry before, I'm sorry. Okay, so here's the ad. Um, Gaming, music, media, PC, $900. What's inside this thing? Okay, at AKA Power Computers, we have been building custom computers for over 15 years. Okay, for, let me stop you there. Here's the thing, with computer building now, if you wanted to buy something or have someone build you something really nice, they don't need experience from the last 15 years. If you even had someone who had five years of experience. You would find someone who could still build you an incredible computer and not only that, be able to find you sales that would get you something for much cheaper than the retail of whatever it is you were trying to put together. Using our experience guarantees all of our builds will outperform anything else on the market. Okay. Boy. With that alone, let's skip immediately to the parts. AMD. Ryzen 2400, Asus Prime B350M motherboard, 8 gigabytes G Skill, <laughs> Samsung 860 Evo 250 gigabytes, Cooler Master Masterbox 3.1, Cooler Master Masterwatt 550 watts, semi modular, Windows 10 Pro. Okay, so just in case you don't know what the rough estimate of what that computer would actually be, here we've pulled up PCPartPicker.com, a pretty solid website if you're just starting with PCs to learn how much things cost if you're paying full retail price. But here we go, AMD 2400G, I've already put in all the parts, motherboard, RAM, drive, minus the operating system because here's the thing, you can get an operating system for free. You can have Windows 10 Pro for free, all right? You'll have the little watermark, but I refuse to put the operating system in there when you honestly don't have to pay for it. And if you really wanted to get an activated version, you could find one for 10 to $12 or less. So here we have the total cost of this system, just over $450 is asking for $900. Stop, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just in case you guys are new to this channel, I have a build similar to this actually right here. This is my mobile test bench. Same case, you'll notice and a pretty similar build. We got almost identical specs. That computer took me an hour to build. I, I, I might even be exaggerating. I think it took me a little under an hour. So if this guy is expecting roughly $450 of, of cost to actually buy all the parts, that means he's also expecting you to pay $450 for an hour of labor. What the there are doctors and lawyers that don't get paid $450 an hour. And this guy's expecting you to pay that much to him for putting together a gaming device for you. I really want to call this guy and ask him, you know, do you, have you had any customers? Like <laughs> Using AMD's new Ryzen 2400G APU, this build is for the budget conscious gamer that wants an optimal yet entry level 1080p gaming experience. This build is for the budget conscious gamer. Oh my god. The budget conscious gamer does not want to pay $900 to get started. You know how many games you could buy for $900? You know, you know how many computers you could build for $900? I'm, I'm, I'm laughing, but this is actually making me so upset. Like the one thing that I, I do agree with that is right with this build is that he's pairing a Ryzen chip with 3200 megahertz speed of RAM. I mean, it's not even like this build doesn't make sense. Like this is a great build for beginners, but like, oh my God, $900. He, he's basically charging you 
a thousand dollars. That's what this is. This is one of the worst scams I have ever seen. So here's the thing. We're looking at this thing now. Let's actually go to com. He's got one system on here, AMD systems. You don't even have it listed on your website. And the other thing that screams to me that this is a guy, you know, working by himself alone is that these pictures are completely photoshopped out of the background. And on top of that, these logos that we have going on up here, they don't look real. Okay, I mean, I take that back. The logo on here, the logo could be on these computers, but you know how easy it would be to fake this thing? And done. I'm gonna start a business. Okay, so I'm gonna call this guy and I'm gonna give him a chance to be honest about what he's doing. And I, I hope, I hope he tells the truth. Okay, hi, I had a couple questions. I'm interested in your Fusion model. Uh-huh. Yeah, so uh, what, what does that come with? Uh, it's pretty much an all-around starting gaming computer. And it has eight gigabytes of RAM? Correct. And if I ever need more, could I pay your service through the website to download more RAM? Oh, okay. Sorry. I guess I was um, misinformed. You said the computer doesn't have a graphics card. Doesn't, um, don't you need a graphics card to play games? Uh, yes, yeah, so the AMD APU has a GPU built into the processor and it has the graphics, so it's an all-in-one all in package. So is that like a more effective way of doing it? Is that like the future? Uh, in the future, it'd be... High-end graphics, but that's what they're working towards. You know, just starts putting everything all in one chip, but it's it's not quite there yet. So, where is your store located? I'd I'd actually love to come check out the models. Uh, we don't have a store. I, I built these. Uh, I built these out of my house. The Fusion model is nine hundred. You said. Correct. Okay, for nine hundred, in your professional opinion, do you think that's the best? Uh, I can do for my money? I mean, as far as if you're looking for a gaming computer for 900, that's a good place to get started with the Fusion. Anything else around 900, you're probably kind of cutting out on uh, car speed and, you know, integration. Do you take drugs or alcohol? What is drugs? So, like, if you went to Dell and you, like, buy a computer for, like, 900 and you, uh, they usually stick the money in hard drives and they don't really focus on the optimization and performance and integration and, and, and all that with everything in the computer. And, and, and that's what we end up doing and that's what we're good at. I, I guarantee you that this $900 computer will run better than any Dell $900 computer. And I use Dell stuff all the time in my businesses just for the, the warranty that uh, companies need stuff okay i have my computer in front of me and i'm looking at a list and it says that the parts for this computer are equal to just over 480 dollars is is that what the parts cost uh did, did you add in the Power supply, which is the Cooler Master Master Watt 550 modular. Mm hmm You know our parts come around after around 750, and, and, and the rest is installing drivers and putting it together and installing drivers and stuff, and, and doing the RAM clocking and, and everything else. When you install the RAM, especially with Ryzen chips, you, you need to make sure you get the timings and get the clock speeds right. I think I have a pretty good idea. Thank you uh, so much for taking your time and talking to me. I can see why they call this place I'm actually more upset after having talked to them. Holy sh We need to get our RAM clocking perfected and stress test. You know how long it takes to correctly overclock and get the timings right for your RAM? Probably about 10 minutes or less. The part that makes me even more mad that he didn't even talk about is that with this 2400G, it gets so hot because you have 
an APU where the GPU and the CPU combine mixed together and they're both trying to perform their processes in the same tiny space, the thing is going to overheat dramatically and he's going to be using the stock Wraith cooler that comes with this APU. It, you can check any YouTube review on the 2400G and see how hot this thing gets and how performance actually starts to suffer a little bit when you use the Wraith stock cooler, especially if you're trying to get that middle range gaming performance that he talked about. I mean, it's just, all right, you know what? I'm done, I'm done complaining about this guy. Let's wrap this up. Now look, I don't think there's anything wrong about building and flipping computers to make money. As a matter of fact, I think it's awesome. And if you can learn the art of doing that, I encourage it. But if you're gonna exploit the high demand in this market by taking advantage of people who don't know as much as you do, then that's when you're a piece of shit. Charging double what it costs to build something for anything, unless it involves serious modifications, is basically lying to your customer. Anyways, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, or at least found it somewhat informative or entertaining. If you liked the video, let me know with a comment or a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you wanna see more content like this, click the red button and subscribe for future videos. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.